In this video, I'm going to show you how to write a simple JSF application using NetBeans. For this application, we're going to start with the basic concept of a web browser and a web server. The web browser will start by sending an HTTP GET request for index.html. And the web server is going to do three things. Create a managed bean time utility, prepare the contents of index.xhtml, which will result in some HTML ready to send to the web browser. And then the web server will send the HTML to the web browser, which will display the HTML and we'll see the very simple example displaying the current time. Now for us to be able to do this, we'll need to create in NetBeans a web application and set up the file index.xhtml, also the managed bean time utility. So in NetBeans, the first thing we'll do is to create this web application. So we select Java Web as the category, Web Application as the project, click Next, type in the name of the project, make sure that the project location is as we want it, and then click Next. If you have any options about server, select the appropriate server. You can set your context path if you wish. Make sure that Java Server Faces is ticked, and then click Finish. NetBeans will then create and prepare a JSF application in which there will be the index.xhtml file, which is displayed here. By adjusting the template text, we can end up with a very simple example. So we've altered the title, which appears at the top of the web browser. We've also put in a header in the body, another header for current time, and then the output text tag. Now this element is a JSF element and is available because of this XML namespace that has been set up. It has the prefix H. So that prefix is now associated with this particular namespace, which is really just an XML definition of the XHTML tags. And so we can use the output text element from that namespace by using the h prefix colon and then the name of the element that we want to use. And the value, well the value is going to be a property from a managed bean. So now we need to set up that managed bean. And we do that by creating a Java file. So if we right click on source packages, you can go into other, select Java server faces, and JSF Managed Bean. Tick Next. Type in the name of the class, which we will make Time Utility. Set up a package. Change the name of the bean if you wish to. And make sure the scope has been set to Request. And then tick Finish. Again, you will get some template code. And we can modify this. I shall remove the comments and insert the code that I want. So I have the declaration that this is part of the managed bean package. I've got this annotation here, which assigns the name that I want to use within the XHTML to link to this managed bean. Another annotation to say that the bean sits in the request scope and then the code that I want. So when I am preparing the output, the XHTML file is going to want to get the current time. So I'm providing this method here, get current time, which will simply use the simple date format object that uses this pattern to format the current time using calendar.getInstance.getTime. So back in index.xhtml, when I refer to the name of the managed bean, dot, and then a property name, current time, that will automatically relate to the get current time method that I've just written. Now that I've done this, I can run the project, which will begin by starting the Glassfish server, then deploy the application to the server and start a web browser to display the index.xhtml file. And if I refresh this, you can see that the number of seconds has changed and therefore we are getting the current time. 
If we extend this example by asking the user to enter their name, and then we'll echo that name to the output along with the current time, then we have a slightly more complicated scenario. We'll assume that this view has now been displayed using a very similar process to the one that we've just looked at. The user has now typed in their name, and by clicking the Submit button, the browser will send a request to the server. The server will create two managed beans, the time utility bean and the user bean. Populate the name property of user using the value that the user typed over here in the web browser. Then prepare the contents of the next view, which will be view time, taking the property value from user, the name property, and again using the time utility bean as we saw in the previous example, and sending all of that as HTML to the web browser, which will display that HTML in this fashion. So we need to put in an extra two XHTML files, simple example.xhtml and viewtime.xhtml. We also need to add in another managed bean. Let's do the managed bean first. We'll keep it in the same package. We'll give it the name user. Make sure the scope is set to request and then click finish. Modify the code so that it is as we wish, which will mean putting in a field called name. This will be used to store the value that the user has typed. Therefore, we'll need a set name method that will receive the string and store it in that field. Later, we need to display that value, so we also need a get name. So this is a full provision for the property, the field with a get method and a set method. Now we need to prepare the simple example.xhtml file. In the web category, xhtml, click next, give it a name, and click finish. We'll adjust this code by putting in a different title, a header, and now this time a form because we want to submit user values to the web server. So the form will have a paragraph asking for the name with an input text from the namespace that we talked about in the previous example. So input text will allow the user to enter a value. That value we're going to bind to the name property in the user managed bean. And that means that whatever the user types will end up being inserted via a method called to set name in the name property. And then a command button so that we can allow the user to submit with the name of the next view given as the action. So whatever the user types here will end up in this property. Now we need the final view, view time. So this is another XHTML file. Which we will adjust by using the same title. This time we're going to do some output simply by echoing the username. So we'll say hello, comma, space, and then use the h output text element, whose value is bound to the user.name property. And in the same way as in the previous example, we'll display the current time. We can deploy this application. Now this has gone automatically to index.xhtml. So I'm going now to adjust this by typing the URL of the simple example.xhtml file, which displays the form. I can now type my name, click Submit. The name will be sent to the web server. My name will be inserted into the name property of the user managed bean. And then the next view will be prepared, taking my name from the name property of the managed bean and inserting it at this position and using the get current time method from the time utility managed bean. So NetBeans allows us very easily to create JSF applications.